So now let's talk about the robust scalar. So suppose that this is our data. As you can see in the first column, this 100 is an outlier. And in this column, this value is an outlier. So here's the question. What is the benefit of using robust scalar? This kind of a scalar is robust, is more robust to outliers like this. And here is the formula for robust scalar. You can see every data in that column minus the median of that column divided by Q3 of that column minus Q1 of that column. And maybe you ask what is Q1 and Q3. As a matter of fact, Q1 is the first quartile, which is equivalent to 25th percentile. And Q3 is the third quartile, which is equivalent to 75th percentile. That's it. And IQR, I mean interquartile range, is basically Q3 minus Q1. So basically in the robust scalar, you can see each data minus the median divided by the third quartile minus the first quartile. And this gives the transformed value. So now before calculating the robust scalar using the sklearn, let's do it by hand. So you can see we have imported NumPy as np. And here we have to find out data, which is called x. And now in order to do so, we simply type np.percentile because you want to calculate the percentile of x. And these are the values. These are the percentiles which you want to calculate, 25, 50, and 75. That's it. And I want to pass axis equals to zero. It means you want to calculate all of these stuff for each column. So for each column, you want to calculate these percentiles. And after that, I store the results in three variables because you can see we are calculating three percentiles, so it returns three values. The first one is the 25th percentile, and the other one is 50, and the other one is 75. Now I simply type x minus q50, and basically q50 means the median. So remember that q50, which is the 50th percentile, is equivalent to the median. So x minus the median divided by Q75 minus Q25, that's it. And this gives us the scale values. So I store that in a variable, let's say called X underscore scaled. And I want to print the X scaled. So if I run the code, you can see here's the result. And let's do it in sklearn as well. But before that, let's print a separator like this in order to separate the outputs. So now I simply type from sklearn.preprocessing, import the robust scalar, and I want to create an object of robust scalar, and I want to call that object, let's say, called a scalar. So that's it. You can see we have created an object of this class, and we have called that object a scalar. Now we simply type scalar dot fit transform because you want to fit and transform this scalar on the x variable on our data you can see our data is called x that's it and i stored that in a variable let's say called x scaled that's it and now let's print the x scaled variable so once again if i run a code you can see this is the output of manually uh, calculating the robust scalar, and this is the output of using the sklearn in order to calculate the robust scalar, which you can see they are the same. So basically, the robust scalar is more robust to outliers, and this is the formula x minus the median of that data divided by q3 minus q1. And also there were some cases which, for example, you don't want to subtract the median from the data. So if you want to do so, you can use that as well in the robust scalar. So we can simply type with centering equals to false. It means that we don't want to have a centering process. It means that we are not going to subtract the median from our data. So once again, if I run the code, you can see this is the result of manual calculation, and this is the result of scikit-learn robust scalar, which we have passed with centering equals to false. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.